All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can shove 15,000 pounds of human flesh into a one square by one square house. It's The Sims 4. I have made many different types of torture houses for The Sims, and I have seen other people make many different types of tiny houses for The Sims, but today we're going to get really stupid. Today's claustrophobic life ruining session is sponsored again by Raycon Earbuds. Since we're torturing people, I thought I would also torture the earbuds, and so instead of simply just talking about them, later on we'll be hitting them with a golf club, but more on that later. Thanks to Spleens' drug habit, we now don't have much money in order to build a house and so I am going to build a house that is one square by one square. After building the house that is one square by one square, I am going to shove 100 sims inside of it. Can you even get 100 sims inside of a one square by one square house? I don't know. I don't even know if the game can handle it. I don't even know what would happen if one of the squares gets caught on fire. Will all 100 sims immediately die? Uh, but that's what we do here. The goal is, is that the house will actually be functional. It will be a real functional <laughs> prison cell of a house. In order to do this, I'm going to build my one square by one square house upward. So it will be four floors of one square by one square pain. These Sims will be able to blow up the toilet and wash the dishes at the same time. Florida man's over here. He's like, it sounds like the house I grew up in. Colino is like, joke's on you, Gray. I don't wash the dishes. And as usual, our newest member of the family, D minus, I, she is, she just lives in constant fear. She always looks like this. She has resting, please don't kill me face. I don't even know what I need all this land for considering the size of the house that I'm going to build. I guess I can just fill the outside portion with the stuff that nobody gets to have. Alrighty. So building this is going to be very difficult. You take your room tool, you go like this. And there you go. Now, technically, I think that we can legitimately get items to fit inside of here. How about this? How about this? I'll even make it maximum height. I can see Bab Ross is like, oh, wow, you're so gracious. Effectively, Bab Ross's Afro style haircut is the base dimension for the room that they will live in. All right. So then you copy this then you copy it. And then one last time. Wow. That's a beauty. I'm gonna put the gender neutral door on here because I'm an equal opportunity torturer. Get some uh, Tony Stark level windows going on here. I'm not gonna lie, the house is starting to just look like a disposable vape cigarette. I mean, can I can I get like an awful roof on this? <laughs> yeah, that totally works. <laughs> kinda, hold on here and just, there we go. Just kinda squeeze that in a little bit like this. Like that. <laughs> it's both awful and efficient. Okay, I got the ladder that goes all the way up the entire building. I appreciate that the ladder just sticks right through the roof, so it looks like little devil horns. Sims neighbors are gonna come over, they're gonna be like, who the hell built your house? And the Sims will be like, it was Satan. Okay, the real question is, can I get like a toilet in here? Oh yeah, plenty of room. <laughs> this is legit, I'm gonna get like a like a mirror in here. Okay, none of these sinks will fit. There we go. <laughs> I think uh, I think they'll still be able to use the toilet, you just gotta kind of hunch down. <laughs> Oh, God, I wouldn't want them to be in the dark. Hold on. There we go. Okay, in order for the Sims to legitimately be able to live, they're gonna need a place where they can cook food somehow. Is there like a stove or a grill or something that can fit in here? That's way too big. Perfect. The best part is it's a tremendous fire hazard. <laughs> it's really sad when the wall TVs are actually bigger than the room that they're allowed to go into. Yeah, I, I can put this sad penguin TV there. Okay, so they need a refrigerator. That's not gonna work. Yeah, none of these fit. If I could make the Sims eat out of a pet food bowl, I would because it's probably the only thing that can fit. Oh, I could totally fit a cooler in here. Okay, they have a place to make food. They have a place to get food. They have a place to use the bathroom. I mean, I use that term loosely. So what we can do is we can take a bed. There we go. <laughs> Y'all can fight over who gets it. It's big enough for like one calf. Since this is supposed to be the bedroom, I'll put it like a nice poster in here. You can have an indoor plant, but I had to shrink it to the point that it just looks like a piece of moss growing out of the walls. I really want like that classic brick look for the building. That look where you know that someone was on a ton of drugs when they architecturally designed this thing. Give it a little Ooh. accent up top. Okay, real quick, I need to see if a human being can even get inside of this thing. All right, Colino, you're up. He's like, oh, fuck. I mean, he's moving to go inside. Okay, I had to get rid of the ladder. Can you use the toilet? Tis a weep. Damn it. Okay, if I shrink it... <laughs> If I shrink it down and I put it all the way in the corner, he can actually wash his hands. Okay, so grab 
the hyper small toilet. And how about if I how about if I put it like right here? Hell yes, it totally works! Look at that, he's even washing his hands in the garden gnome sized sink. Way to practice proper hygiene, Colino. He's like, I actually don't give a shit about proper hygiene. I was trying to drown myself in the sink. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can make this work. Okay, we can't use a ladder, but I think that we can use stairs. So if I have a staircase, here we go. Okay, so now you have to have another staircase. It just has to be even bigger. Okay, then we have the next set of stairs like this. I mean, I, I don't know how to say it. But I mean, it works. See, this is a diet grill. It's a diet grill because you can only grill like one eighth of a hot dog on it. All right, we can actually get a TV up in here. Since we're going all the way, I'm even gonna give you bastard to trash bin. Don't say I never gave nothing to you. Maybe I can fit like a shower in here somewhere. I, I really don't know how, but the cooler is completely functional. <laughs> People use the bathroom and stuff too. I, I don't know how he pulled that bowl of cereal out of there. It's like magic. He's so happy. He's like, oh, it feels like a fracture in the time-space continuum. It tastes delicious. This is what a little black hole tastes like. There has to be a way to allow them to take a shower. I put this here, maybe like move this all the way out over here. How does this girl do this? Legit, I've been building a one-by-one -one house and she's already pissed herself. It's like her useless superpower. Okay. I can't get a bed in here, but I can allow them to sleep on this small couch. At this point, everything works. It all legitimately functions. People can get food. People can use the trash. People can use the bathroom. People can wash their hands. And Spleens can mostly have dreams where she wishes she was dead. You can see this is like the congregational area where everyone eats right now. So now that I know that this legitimately works, I have to spawn in a hundred Sims and then I have to wall all of this off somehow so that people can not escape from the horrors of the one by one house that they live in. Okay, Sims are basically allergic to fencing. So I'm just gonna do it this way. All right. I kind of make this like this it goes over here okay now let me make sure that anyone can get anywhere they need to go okay perfect everyone can reach everywhere they need to go but they can't leave this tiny area these are my everyday e25 raycon earbuds along with a golf tee do you know who else likes raycon and golf snoop dogg now i know what you're saying you're saying sure gray they're very discreet and they have six hours of plate time so you don't look like a loser when you're out on the golf course with them in your ears. But what should happen if the entire case falls onto a golf tee while you're swinging a three wood? And to that I say the Everyday E25 has more bass and a great compact design that helps its aerodynamics. They come in fun colors too so you can find them out on the green. Okay, let's hit it with a golf club. So you're out on the course golfing, all of a sudden, oh no, the Raycons fall on your golf tee. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring the video and continuing to allow me to use your products for my torturous fulfillment. I do legitimately use them at the gym as well. Also, even though they're half the price of normal earbuds, if you want, you can follow the link in the description to get 15% off at buyraycon.com slash plays. First, we will start with 50 extra sims in order to see if the game can legitimately handle this insanity. Something I just thought about before I add the rest of the Sims, there is a thing I can do here to make absolutely sure that no Sims leave this area. I will utilize the most deadly thing in Sims history. The one thing that no Sim can help but die from, a pool. Pools are single-handedly the most deadly things in an entire Sims life. I don't know what it is. The second they touch a pool, they're like, you know what would be great if I didn't breathe anymore? Want to fill in every possible crevice here? There we go. Sorry, cats. Might as well shove you guys inside of the house too. I love the look on Colino's face. He's like, what have you done? It's my arch enemy. H2O, it's everywhere. Whoa, D minus. What, what are you doing? You look so worried. Why don't you join your friends? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I think I'd rather just chill out over here smelling like crap. Nonsense. Get the hell in there. There we go. All right. Now we can chug this up to 50 Sims. A few seconds later. Oh, yeah. This looks 
totally comfortable. All right, now, unfortunately, there's kind of a line to use the bathroom. I'm surprised that someone's having a loner lesson right now. That's not going to go over fairly well, considering the close quarters that everyone's going to be living in. Now, don't you worry. One way or the other, with various cheats in the game, I'm going to go ahead and force every single person into one room together just to see what happens. Also, what the hell is this? This lady's blood type is like whey protein. Her and her friend are both cut like hell. All right, we've got a few people getting some cereal. Someone's using the sofa to get some sleep and by using the sofa, I mean she literally napped for about one eighth of a second. How you doing there, spleens? She's like, everywhere I go, I see death. No one's died yet. Alright, the toilet and the sink is getting used. Fantastic. Okay, so 50 people honestly are doing quite well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other 50 people. I do appreciate that Lonnie has a sense of humor about this entire situation. I'm just gonna shove all these people into the grill room just to see what happens there's so many people to teleport okay when i let off this pause button all hell should basically break loose oh no. <laughs> oh god and here we go come on we only got about 80 of you in there there's like 20 left Stop socializing and start getting packed in there like sardines. I'm about to give 100 people simultaneous athlete's foot. Is anyone, uh, claustrophobic? If you didn't think it was that bad, I turned the walls on so you can see. Look at Florida man, he's in there between like two different people and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at peace. They're both like smelling his hair. This one guy's like, oh, it smells like cabbage. Florida man was one of the first people to get nope. the hell out of there. I can barely see the grill to use it with all these people. Okay, what the hell is this? People are starting to levitate. <laughs> Making a one by one house is amazing. Where the hell is she going to? How far is she allowed to walk and completely disregard gravity? I love how she's very slowly shuffling. Okay, I, I don't know how it happened, but I just saw Australian man enter the bathroom from the back wall. There's 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 no entrance back there. I like how I moved everyone up there and they're they're just kind of staying there. A few people leave every once in a while, but for the most part, there's a good 70 people just chilling out in this one room. Poor spleens. She's like, I went up to that room with 70 people and I have tuberculosis now. If anyone needed more proof that spleens is a saintly being, she is walking on water. Like legit, she's walking on water. Look. Okay, we're deep into Monday evening at this point and we haven't had a single fatality. I'm genuinely amazed. Australian man is sleeping soundly in the one small couch while everyone else defecates all over themselves. I like how in order to have a conversation, this is how close people have to get. Her shins are damn near kicking him in the groin. So people just started teleporting out of the house into the stereo over here. Look at them. They're just appearing out of nowhere. Look at all the people. Where the hell are y'all going to? You bastards, you're supposed to be inside the house. Oh God. Oh no, the, the chain of death is just beginning. People are just falling over left and right. The bodies don't even have enough space to lay on solid ground. There's so many deaths happening. I'm not vengeful. I didn't do this on purpose. Everyone teleported over here by themselves. Oh my God. Maybe it was the rotten food that got to her. Look at how much filth is everywhere. Everyone is just covered in their own feces. There's titanic bottles of urine everywhere. Get back into the house. I'm trying to teleport them all back over to the house. We get rid of all these death notifications. We've got to clean up all the bodies. Stop dying. I'm trying to move you back over to the house. Fabros, no! They're dying so quickly, it's destroying the frame rate. Jesus Christ! Someone set the grill on fire! No! There's nowhere for everyone to go! People are just going upstairs! They're purposefully walking into the fire to kill themselves! Look at them, they're lining up to die! They're all just walking... I've never seen anything like this! Okay, the fire is finally out. But it's killed like 10 people. Did, did that dude just say son of a bitch? That moment when the rooms are so small that people have to die in midair. I do appreciate that this guy died in such a way that like only one foot is inside of the actual house. Florida man 
He lasted so long. I do have to mention that LSD is still alive. There's not a lot of area to mourn up here. So this lady is just dripping all her tears in this guy's groin. Okay, well, D minus was still alive, but she just passed away. There's only about 20 Sims left. It looks like a freaking battlefield over here. What makes a Sim turn neutral? Have a Sim stay in the fine emotion for 48 hours straight. How the hell is anything here fine? Someone else just got set on fire. How are you guys screwing this up? Everyone spent their entire time complaining and bathing in the piss of their brethren. And now they're all starving to death. Florida man died surrounded by his own. I'm actually so exhausted of cleaning up all the bodies. I'm just, I'm just leaving them there now at this point. They're gonna be permanent decoration for this house. This dude doesn't even know where to die. He's like, there's no service area left. Well, everyone over here is dead. That's what you get for teleporting out of the house, you bastards. Okay, we have uh, about five, <laughs> four people left. Just making sure no one's hiding upstairs. Nope, the bodies are just piled up all the way on top of the house. And while a man walks on water, Another lady dies of starvation. It says starvation, but it's probably just her heart refusing to beat anymore. Two people left. Who will be the final sim to survive what is apparently the most deadly house I've ever made in my entire life? It's very rare that I have all of the sims die without my cats being taken away from not feeding them. I like how new skill day was awful to all these people. They're all dead, they don't care. And there we go. The final individual dies, and that means that this young lady gets to live for all of eternity with death. I like how death appears just as there's one sim left. He wasn't here the whole time. And that means that basically Merida from Brave is the winner. She does not look happy to be alone. Congratulations, you and the Grim Reaper will be fantastic friends, I'm sure. I do appreciate that the only time that she looks slightly happy is because right now she's in the middle of dying. Her name's Aubrey Littlejohn, that's amazing. Well, what happens if you put 100 Sims inside of a one by one house? Apparently if any fire starts anywhere, everyone rushes to it like moths. People were just throwing themselves into the flames. And it's like there was too many people in one space in the house. And so like 50 of them just teleported off the entire lot. Anyway, I will say it was definitely the most deadly house I've ever built. Anyway, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.